Good morning, Rosemount. I'm Grantham Green. And I'm Donna Catello. Today is Wednesday, October 19th, and welcome back to Irish Update. Before we know it, winter is going to be in full swing, especially after the little bit of snow we saw last week. The Rosemount boys hockey team is having a pre-tryout meeting on Tuesday, November 1st from 7.05 a.m. to 7.35 a.m. in room 120. Mark your calendar since you must attend if you're trying out. If you're free, make sure to go and take some time to check out the informational lacrosse meeting in the Student Center on October 20th, 25th at 7 p.m., which is available to all grade levels. If you have any questions, stop by room N32 to speak to Mr. Kuhn. To all the skiers out there, make sure to mark your calendars about the start of the ski team season. A parent, a parent skier informational meeting will be taking place on Sunday, November 6th from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. at Eastview High School in rooms C250 and C350. No experience is necessary. Make sure you're to attend if you're interested. While we're in the world of sports, we'd like to give a shout out to the football team. Last Friday, they defeated Prior Lake and are now district champions. Way to go, players. If you want to continue showing your spirit for this amazing team, at 7 p.m. tonight, the final game of the regular season will be taking place at Burnsville. We hope to see you there. And last night was a huge one for the RHS soccer program. Both the, both the boys and girls teams won their respective conference championships. The girls beat Egan 4-0 and the boys took out Eastview by a score of 2-1. Congrats to both teams and best of luck and continued success. The swimming team will be here and before you know it. If you're into making swimmers stay safe and water safety instructors, training is available from October 20th to the 22nd through District 196 Community Education Program. They also have a variety of other water safety rules. If interested, head over to the Communication Education website. In the world of science and engineering, the Science Olympiad team gives you a chance to explain your creative through various experiments. Experience this club through their informational meeting next Thursday after school in room N20. If you can't make it or have any questions, stop by N20 and speak to Mr. Grabo. Seniors, another reminder that the deadline to ensure your picture for the yearbook is December 1st. Head to the RHS yearbook page via the RHS website and find the submission link. Also seniors, the FAFSA form is now live. Here are a few seniors from AVID to tell us about an opportunity to get help with this important form. Hi, I'm Ivana Reategui. I'm Anaya Franklin. And I'm Sue Dueli. And we're AVID seniors. Like many in our graduating class, we in AVID are busy applying to colleges. And part of that application process is the FAFSA requirement. This is about free money. FAFSA is the connection to financial aid, which can include scholarships, grants, low interest loans, and work study. Applying for FAFSA can be a complicated process. So RHS is offering a FAFSA completion night next Tuesday, October 25th, from 6 to 8 p.m. in the library's lower level. Financial aid reps from local colleges will be there to help seniors and their families complete this process. So, if you have any questions about the FAFSA, mark your calendars. We look forward to seeing you there. The FAFSA form is definitely a key step in the financial aid process. Make sure to take the time to fill it out and attend the information meeting if needed. Finally, we'd like to give a congratulations to the Irish Marching Band for placing first in Iowa on Saturday. Our 4A band is practically unstoppable and on a massive roll. That's all from us this week. Remember, there's no school tomorrow or Friday, so enjoy the long weekend. From the Irish Update Studio, have a great day, Rosemount.